Welcome back to the big show. So, last night, The Bachelorette took us to Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, connections deepened, tears were shed, and a mysterious man from Jen's past entered the picture. I was acting it out for you. Here to tell us all about it, we have TCL producer and Bachelorette super fan Betsy Moline. Were you happy with my physical interpretation of your words? I really appreciated words? that. Yes, I think charades is always helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Bets. Okay. Yeah, hi, Bets. Hi. Your rose, your thorn, and your bud. These yes. are the moments you loved, the thing that you hated, and then the thing that you're looking forward to. Let's start with the good stuff. Exactly. So Marcus, our Minnesota guy, so he has parents who live here in this, uh, Minnesota, he actually got a little bit vulnerable with Jen. So remember, he was an Army Ranger, and he was hit by a grenade and spent two months recuperating from that. Yeah. And then in the most recent episode, he got hurt during a rugby game. Mm. And she was like, hey, are you okay? And he was like, yep, I'm fine. I'm totally strong, and I'm totally okay. And she was like, I don't need you to say that. Like, you can tell me how you're actually feeling. That's okay. And he was like, I just need more time to feel ready to open up. And she ended up giving him the group date rose. And you can see here, he was starting to get emotional. And he was like, I didn't realize that I could be vulnerable and still be loved and oh. still be chosen and still be picked. And it made me a little emotional, you guys. Like, that's so sweet. That he's, he's also wearing a turtleneck, which just immediately signifies to people that you are ready to share something emotional. And exactly. then you might bust out in poetry <laughs> at any moment. You just need, really like, a little, a, little, a little brown cocktail. Yes. Yeah. Right, right, right. And you just need to relax that and, like, share true. your feelings. That really would have helped him. <laughs> no, but I really like Marcus, and I think it's good that he's learning that it's okay to not always be the strong one and be the one who's, you know, fine and pushing through it. And he goes, I'm really tough. And she was like, it's okay. You can be tough and okay hurt. okay hold yeah. on was he hurt or injured because there is a Here difference he, he hit his shoulder and he got checked out by the medical team that's all we know he I didn't know. really get into I'm it i'm playing with him marcus <laughs> i know you're a tough guy he's very tough <laughs> he's a very tough guy um speaking of guys sam <laughs> listen you got more to talk about i have so much more to talk about it is a bad day to be named sam you guys i didn't like either of the sams last night sam m he was our first impression rose he's kind of been a front runner but i just get the ick from him i don't like him i think that he's pushy and kind of strange so he and jen climbed up to the top of this tower and it was an option to either go on a walk around it or jump off of it so their waiter oh. came up gave them the option and this is what sam did it's a unique lifetime experience you should try <clears throat> you can try if you want the walk that we do as well so you don't have to jump but you can walk around the tower and just enjoy the view a walk sounds lovely yeah no we would like to jump Fantastic. Excuse me, this, I'll is get a, ready this is a no, two-person decision. This is a two-person decision here. You think you're just making the decision for me to jump? Um, usually I'm not like that, but this one, yes. Yeah, so he basically forced her to do it, and yeah. she did not want to do it at all. Her biggest fear is heights, and she was up there not having a good time. You could tell, like, not TV scared. She was genuinely like, I do not like it up here. I don't want to be up here. And it took her crying for him to kind of finally realize, like, oh, she's being serious. And then he comforted her, and she felt better about doing it. But she just kept saying, like, he's not reading the room. He's not reading yeah. me and seeing that, like, I'm not joking around with you and being like, oh, okay, maybe we should do it. She really did not want to do it. And he... Did not it seems him. very selfish on him. Exactly. He wants selfish. the moment yes. of, look, we pushed through our fears. And yeah. the strange thing is she skydived with Marcus a couple weeks ago and had no problem with that because he was so comforting and helpful mm -hmm. and able to work her through it. And this just went a completely different way. I, I didn't like how she was addressing that. Like, this is a two-way. I felt like she should have just, like, stuck to it and been a little firmer. And she has such a physical connection with him that I think she kind of lets that get in the way of She's her. She's blinded by the lies. Exactly, exactly. Okay. A problem. Kids, been there, girl. That can happen. Exactly. <laughs> Someone who she is not lusting over is the other Sam, who, Sam N. He spent the first half of the competition being super insecure, super, like, I don't want to step on any toes. And then last week did a 180, and he's like, I'm Jen's husband. I'm going to manifest being her husband and that all culminated yeah. in him asking her for a kiss and here's how that went Ooh. i really want to take our relationship to the next step so jen can i kiss you um you know i i think a first kiss means a lot of course and just oh, not good. Oh, no. He looks like a villain. And he was, he He's just like a Disney really villain. was hitting yeah. every man the wrong way. And so that conversation ended with her walking him out. She was like, I don't want to kiss you now, and I don't see us getting there, so it's time for you to hit the road. Oh, so yeah. He ended up leaving the show uh, that night. Yeah, good decision there, Jen. Yeah, I yeah. agree. He Icky. was just too much for me. Okay, real quick, what are you looking forward to? Okay, yeah, so the episode ended on a bit of a cliffhanger. A man from Jen's past, this is her ex-boyfriend, Matt, she kept calling him Matthew, um, who they dated three years ago, and he was like, I bought my own plane ticket to New Zealand, I want to join the competition, and they've left oh. it up 
in the air whether or not that'll happen. The previews make it look like he'll join the rose ceremony, but my prediction is he's not going to get much further than that. The guys are going to be like, D don't do this to us. He's cute, though. I mean... I don't like this wrinkle. Kids, I don't like this wrinkle at all. Yeah. I don't either. I think it's silly, and I think you had your chance. Yeah, you did. You blew it. Yeah. Sorry. Betsy, Sorry. thank you. Thank you. That was all right, we also want to thank Woodhouse Spa for presenting our Bachelorette Recaps. You can elevate your summer staycation with a trip to our friends at Woodhouse Spa. Enjoy a Woodhouse Signature Hydra Facial. That'll keep your skin glowing all summer long. You can visit their website. It's woodhousespas.com. Remember, they're in Maple Grove, Woodbury, and now open their newest location at Rosedale.